Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video. We just arrived to Jaipur and we're arriving to our hotel right now where we're gonna be staying at. So first of all, big thank you to our friend who's the Uber driver. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, I don't have much cash, so I'm just gonna put in a tip for you there. We're good. Thank you so much, nice to meet you. And we have arrived to the hotel. All right, let's grab the stuff out of here. Oh, thank you, bro. Ah. All right, thank you, brother. Goodbye, Daniavad, bye. Oh, I got this, bro. Thank you, bro. Donivad. All right, so here is our hotel we're arriving to. Looks like a pretty nice vibe here. I think the oh, reception is going to be back this way. Oh. Namaste, my friend. How are things? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Well, let me grab my... Uh, I probably need the passports, right? Donivad. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. All right. Abkanam ke hey bye. Mera naam Bahadur Singh. Uh mera naam hai Mac. Did I say that right, bro? Yes. <laughs> there we go. We got it. So guys, we just got checked in here. We're going up to the uh, second but floor it looks like. And that's where we're heading. All right. 318 down this way, guys. I really like this place. It's got a nice like kind of like Indian traditional style vibe to it. We've got a courtyard looking down, a fountain down there. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is cool, guys. I'm liking it a lot. And we're walking down this way where we will be finding our room. Wow, there's a lot more room than I expected. 322, so that's uh, Mr. Raul's right there. Yes. All right, and then right down this way. Here we are. Thank you. All right. And let there be light. Well, bam! All right, this is the crib. Yeah. Right, perfect. Thank you. Dani Vad bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is the room, guys. As you can see here, we've got uh, the bathtub. We've got a uh, clean bathroom. It is very, very clean in here. Water pressure seems good. And it seems like it's more like a twin size bed. Honestly, that's all, all we need. And refrigerator, TV. Yeah, this will do the job. Pretty much just got like a um, average style hotel room because good price. And we're pretty much gonna be out filming a lot while we're in Jaipur doing a lot of stuff. So I was like, do we really need to go like for like the nice luxurious place if we're gonna be out and about the whole time? So yeah, it seems like this place will uh, get the job done. Courtyards everywhere, and it's much larger actually than I saw in the photos in terms of like the amount of rooms. I want to say we have maybe three floors and many different hallways stretch in there. So nice little painting, or not little, large paintings right here on the walls. So as you can see, the uh, decoration of this place is very, very nice and welcoming. And a couple paintings even inside the room there. So there we go. Oh, this one we've got Ragini, Todi, Bundy. Right there, I believe those are all deers in front. So guys, yeah, for two rooms for two nights, it's 6,300 rupees. So that's 82, pretty much $83, but let's say $82 for easy math. So $41 for two nights to have your own room or $21 per night. It's got AC, it's got a fan, it's got good power. And we actually haven't checked the Wi-Fi speeds here. So let's do the uh, handy dandy speed test. Pop the app open and three, two, one, boom, guys. All right, it said fast Wi-Fi in the front. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's popping. 35. Yeah, we're, we're jumping around there a little bit. But hey, I'm, I'm happy with, honestly, anything over 10, 15. Anything over 15, I'm very, very happy with the hotel. So the fact that we have 30 and upload, that's the real question. Because you guys already know we got some things uploading. 10, 10 point. Oh, 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 we're sneaking down. 8. Come on, come on. Let's get that back up to 10. 9.63. I'd say that's very good, though, guys. For Wi-Fi, honestly, like for Wi-Fi in some of the bigger cities in India, at some of the hotels, they were telling us much lower megabits per second than like a, a lower cost hotel that's still very nice here, you know, like $21 per night and to have fast internet. To be honest, guys, some days I would happily pay $21 for that day just to have fast internet. So I'm very happy. Let's put it that way. Great work to the owners of this hotel because if you have fast Wi-Fi, that's like the number one amenity that I'm going to thank you for. All right, guys, we just got freshened up. As you can see, I'm wearing a new shirt now. And we're going to stop by the cafe here, get ourselves a little coffee. Hello, my friend. How are things? We're looking to get a uh, cup of coffee somewhere. Hello, 
Out here. Oh, right out there. Perfect. Perfect. So you'll show us. You'll show us the best spots here. Hopefully, it's not too dark out. This is our lawn. And this is the cool. lawn. Oh, there we go. The, is the Cheetah Cafe? Yes, yes, Cheetah Cafe. Here's the first garden. And you just go straight and take right. Fantastic. One garden also here. All right. Dani Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Raul, coffee time, brother? Yeah. All right. We need, we need caffeine. Yeah, we need the caffeine. Yeah. The uh, additional energy. Uh, as you can see, it's a very nice garden out here. People are hanging out, relaxing. Even got some shops right here. Oh, actually, if that's a laundry spot, I might need to stop there in a bit. Some tent space. Hello. Namaste, my friend. And the Chitra Cafe. So this is what we're looking for. Here we go. All right. Oh, it smells quite nice down here. Order counter right over here. All right, we're walking in, guys. It definitely has that uh, traditional Indian feel here. Namaste, my friend. How are things? Very good, very good. Looking to get some hydration fluid for energy. Uh, for me, can I have one iced tea, please? Uh, also, do you have cold coffee? Yeah. Uh, one cold coffee and then one mango juice, please. Two mango juice. Papaya juice, watermelon juice. Uh, one papaya juice, please. And for you, brother? One cold coffee. That's all juice, too? No. No? It's only cold. Credit card's fine? Do you have to pay now or pay later? Okay. We can pay later. Oh, pay later? Okay. Thank you. Danny Avad. The iced tea there. Oh, we got a little coffee right there and the juice. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Perfect. So we'll put one of these okay. coffees right there. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You guys, we're going to go ahead and taste one of these right here. I already finished one before Raul got back. <laughs> Here we go. We got one down. Let's try out this iced tea. That that first one is very nice. It was basically like blended up fruit. Yeah, that like just revitalized my entire body. Now we've got the iced tea here. It's ice cold. Oh yeah. Talk about refreshing, guys. That's hitting the spot. Now let's try out the coffee here. Grab one of these paper straws. Ah, nicely made iced coffee. It's got a good froth up top. Great flavors. I must say guys, this hotel is impressing me for paying only $21 to stay here. They have so many things on this premises right here and already, I know this isn't the food but the drinks, if they're made this well, you can tell a lot of uh, quality and effort is put into these because each one of these that I had was perfect. Guys, we just finished up some ice cold, nice cold drinks. So now we're going to be cruising over to take about a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 minute walk down to a food area where we're gonna find some delicious restaurants to eat. So let's head on this way. We even have some street stalls on the way, so those look quite good. Yeah, guys, so we are, whoa! I don't know, keep that thing rolling here. <laughs> there it goes, that's India's craziest bus right there. We got a motorcycle right here, we're sneaking past, guys. There's a lot going on, but honestly, that's the most exciting part about being here in Jaipur. We're actually going to be cruising over to the name of it is Hundi? Yes, Hundi. Hundi. Yeah. Hundi. So that's the name, guys. We're going to go to a famous non veg spot, but it also actually has veg options. And we're going to be trying out some delicious food for our first full meal here in Jaipur. I'm very excited for it. My stomach is ready for some chow. What about you, Raul? Yeah, I'm also, I'm very hungry. Uh, <laughs> then, you, then you know exactly what that means. Chalo baya. Yeah, guys let me tell you sometimes just walking through some of these places that you get to are an adventure in themselves like when you first arrive to a place you just like don't know where you're going everything is new to you everything is foreign to you and that's what I love about like just walking through this but let me tell you the hustle and bustle in this place even on a Sunday is a good feeling here pretty modern in terms of like the outline of the city from what I'm seeing so far lots and lots of restaurants everywhere all right guys we're crossing the locals way here just running right to the median that gets us halfway through here then we're going the other half of the way and we have made it across the street i'm seeing a city bank got to get some cash out so that way we can have as much chow as we can eat and so that should mean it's a bank that's going to work for my for my atm card all right we got one more street to cross oh and we missed it 
Yeah, this is where things get crazy, guys. As you can see, it's not easy to get across these streets when it's a green light. But we're gonna find a way. All right, so we're gonna have to uh, make it through here. And, oh yeah, like professionals, guys, just cruising right through here. That's the key is to uh, do not hesitate, but do it carefully. Because once you go, you keep going. If you hesitate, then you're like a deer in headlights and it could be game over. All right, and we gotta get across one more. And it looks like this is our spot to sneak through and we're about to chalo right across this place. And I will see you guys right after I go to the ATM. All right, we've got our cash, we're all set then, yeah? Donny Vod, my friend. All right, here we go. We're crossing oh. the streets, guys. We're back. Be careful. No, oh, I thought you saw something. Guys, let me tell you, some of these lanes are confusing. You got guys going around the median. There's two lanes here with a divider. You really got to be watching every step, especially at night. And it looks like we're going to find our way. Oh, we're making it through there. Holy, holy moly. And we're going for it. We have successfully across the street. That's a mini win in my book, guys. Good boy. Down boy. Sit. Guys, if you can see the sign up there, we've got the Handy rooftop right there. So that, my friends, is some very exciting news because that means we have made it. All right. So this, my friends, is Handy. Oh, yes, my friend, that is smelling Oh, very tasty. Namaste. Namaste, namaste. Bye. All right, we are heading up. Oh, we've got lots of the good stuff being cooked here. These ovens, that's when you know you're going to be making some delicious bread. Hello, namaste, my friend. Oh, yeah. What, is that paratha bread? Oh, ooh. Oh, very nice. And then, rumalir roti. Oh, and then you toss it on that, and that's how it cooks. Oh, let me tell you this, guys. That smells so fresh, so delicious. Oh, yeah. And here you can see a quick little process before we go upstairs, guys. We got the rolling pin and a big mountain of flour right behind there. He's getting that thing flattened out perfectly. And he's getting that thing ready for cooking. Abkanam Kehe. He did that. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah. Abkanam Kehe? No putt. No putt? Nice to meet you. Oh, and there we go. We just tossed it right on top of there. And you can already see that it, wow, it cooks pretty fast. How long? One minute for cooking? Or longer? Oh, it's almost done. Already. Guys, unfortunately, my battery just died, but it's actually kind of funny because I switched my battery in about 20 seconds, and in that time, he's already finished cooking it. So as you can see, the process moves so quickly. We've got the next one coming on here, and there's actually like a pretty large flame going on under there. So I can imagine that thing must cook things so quickly. And as I was saying though, like that is paper thin. So it makes sense, you know, mixing the two of those why it cooks so fast. You can see a light, light uh, bubble up once it starts going there. And then, whoa, bam, 15 seconds later, he's already cooking the other side and it's done. Danyabad Baya, thank you so much for the uh, tour of it. Now we're gonna be heading up guys. We've got the rooftop, restaurant, drinks, and food right up this way. As we say, chalo, chalo, bayas. You got the coffee energy now. Yeah. Coffee is must. Mmm, absolutely. There we go. Oh, we're getting our steps in, guys. As you can see, we've got the uh, Handi restaurant open 6.30 to 10.45 p.m. And we are arriving up to the rooftop here. Hello, my friend. Namaste. Oh, there we go. We've got the rooftop sign up there. Now we've got to find a spot. Yeah, let's try this one out. All right, guys, as you can see here, we can't go in there, or is that not comfortable to eat in? Uh, you have to, like, uh, sit. Ah, uh, you have to sit closely. So that's one of the seating options here. We're gonna go with the uh, traditional option here. We've even got the big screen going on up there. Looks like a little uh, football, AKA soccer, is being played. And this is where we're gonna be eating, guys. So guys, we just sat down and it looks like we have the uh, QR code scanner for the menu there so we're gonna pop that thing right open here and then we've got the Hondi rooftop let's check the menu out what we got going on here oh wow now that is a photo you want to start your menu off with we've got some chicken called jungly must dry a fiery hot 
Mutton prepared in Desi G from Rajasthan. Now let me tell you guys that is sounding delicious. All types of stuff here. I think this is another one of those restaurants where I'm gonna ask for the recommendations. We've got veg and non-veg options here. Even Italian, wow. Masala garlic bread with cheese. But I'm gonna wanna do something uh, that they're uh, known for. What are they uh, known for here, bro? Uh, it's uh, Lalmas. Lalmas? Non-vegetarian for you. Uh, Lalmas, so that's Lalmas. the goat. And what's in it? Uh, Lalmas, like... Uh, Chicken? Chicken. Thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, very Lalmas. nice. Oh, all right. And, uh, uh, with the, you can try that uh, rumali roti, like na napkin, roti, yeah, yeah. napkin bread. Yeah, napkin bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, guys, that bread we just showed you here a little bit ago, we'll be trying some of that, and it's going to be delicious. All right, guys, so I just pulled up the menu. It is a QR code menu right over here. Scan to order. And the first item on the list right here is the Jungly Mass Dry. So that's, I guess, what their, like, number one recommended item is. But let me tell you, just looking at that photo, it looks like... Oh, it looks delicious. Honestly, this light that's on me is so bright right now. I was just looking at it that all I can see is like the, uh, the lights on me. But uh, yeah, it's about $6.50 for this entree, which is, I would say roughly like seven or eight dollars to try a fiery hot mutton prepared in Desi G from Rajasthan. So I think I just need to take a nosedive rating, guys. Try out what's gonna be spicy hot. So I'm gonna see if this fiery hot is something my body can handle. And then I'm probably gonna need some sort of like specialty drink they have here, even if it is a kingfisher. That might be a must to chase down the uh, fiery hot chicken today. Along with that bread you guys saw that those guys preparing down there, we're gonna get that fresh bread, we're gonna try it out and see how good it tastes when it's fresh off that oven. Yum. We'll order and we'll show you soon. <laughs> Halam Makluf. Ah, nice to meet you. It's good to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Perfect. So, uh, we gonna order then, bro? Yes, yes. We can order from here. Oh, we, we order from the app. Ah, all right. So we just hit the order button right there, add it to the cart. Very nice. And then we can even toss in a uh, kingfisher. Yeah. Where's the uh, kingfisher all the way at the bottom? Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. We'll go with the, the lager. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. So now we're uh, now we're gonna be feeling good. Donny Avad, bye. <laughs> Guys, as you can see right behind me, we've got the. Uh, oh, we just missed it. The prayer call was just going. Oh, there it is. Really amazing start to the first night here in Jaipur, guys. Such a cool spot to be eating at. With those sounds behind me, the busyness of Indian traffic, horns honking, that's gonna be great. So guys, now this is pretty sweet. Order, place, restaurant will shortly confirm your order. Once it's confirmed, it'll take 20 minutes. I must say that is very impressive to be able to know exactly when the order is gonna be ready. And so just to give you guys an idea here, for us to both get a couple entrees and and a couple drinks here, that comes out to 1727 rupees, which is, let me tell you here, I'm just pulling up my handy dandy converter, 1727, that is $22.74. So for one of the nicest and best restaurants, most famous restaurants here in Rajasthan, for us to be able to eat for pretty much $11 per person, uh, includes a Kingfisher for me, a um, non-alcoholic beverage for Raul and our entrees. That's a great price, guys. So I can't wait to dig in. We'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, there we go. We're filling up the nice old Kingfisher right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a delicious one. And this is the premium one? Yeah, it's strong. Strong, so what does that mean? 6%, 8%? Uh, it's uh, five, 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 five to eight percent. Five to 8%, wow, so it varies. Dani Vad, bye. All right. Cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. Let me tell you that these kingfishers, they never disappoint. <sighs> Guys, so as you can see here, we just were brought out something called a rice popper. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's like featherweight. It almost tastes like um, 
like a Cheeto, it doesn't taste like a Cheeto puff, but the texture is like a Cheeto puff in terms of like uh, not dense at all. It's got a, maybe a light salty taste to it, but very delicious. So basically you eat these while you're sipping on a Kingfisher. And then over here we also have, are these onions? Yeah, yeah. And do people eat these whole? No, with the, like, with the food. Ah, oh, so I'm, I'm not like dipping that and then eating Like a uh, salad. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought these were to like take one, dip it in and... Yeah, you can, you can taste it. All right. Guys, they're going to be calling me uh, Senor Onion Breath after this. We're going to just uh, dip that onion right in there. We've got some sort of sauce on top of it already. We're going to toss it right in. Mmm. Mmm. Very tasty onions, actually. Are you sure they're not meant to be eaten like that? It's actually quite nice. No, with the food, you can eat this. Like, mm. uh, like salad, you can have the salad with food. I'd almost call that finger food on its own, guys. <laughs> Delicious. You grab the whole whole, whole onion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you take a nice. little bit. A little bit, yeah. I expected it to be a little more spicy, the onion, but it wasn't very overpowering, probably because of the green sauce. What's the name of the green sauce? Mm. These little poppers are yeah. delicious. Mint sauce. Green sauce? Mint, mint sauce. Mint, mint sauce. sauce. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Daniavad. So we got a mint sauce going on right there. And let's try one of these little poppers in the mint sauce. Oh, that goes together quite well. I think green sauce goes together with pretty much anything, but now that I had it with the popper, I can actually taste the mint on there. It's a bit stronger. Before the onion was so overpowering, I couldn't actually pull the flavors out of what was in the green sauce. Oh, and we've got a delivery. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Jungli mat, non-vegetarian for me. Non-vegetarian for me, please. Jungli mat. Oh, yes, 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 please. Wow, guys, the food has arrived. As you guys can see, we've got the delicious, delicious looking, mmm. And then right over here, oh, that's fresh off there. Looks like we've either got some oil, some butter on there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Over there, that is Raul's option. So that's the vegetarian option in the name? Paneer. Paneer, oh, another paneer night. Very nice, I think that's Raul's favorite. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in, guys. It's we'll, very famous here. Yeah, yeah this is super famous. That's yeah. like their number one most eaten item yeah. here, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out, guys. And here is Let's also go. rumali roti. Rumali roti. This oh. one is rumali roti, or this is. Oh, okay, okay. very nice. Yeah. All right, we're gonna try out this thing first and see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, that is quite nice. Guys, it's got an infusion of so many different flavors there. And like for a quick split second, it almost tasted a little sweet. And now I'm feeling a bit of the kick of the spice, which is a nice zing. Luckily, it's not as hot as it was described. It said like fiery, so I was like, uh oh, what am I going to be dealing with? Mmm. But that is nice. Cooked so well, where literally you take a bite off of the bone right there, and it literally just falls off and breaks apart in your mouth. That is incredible. Now let's try out a bit of the roti. Hello. Those horns will wake you up. Oh yeah, with the butter on there guys, it's just chewy in your mouth. You can tell this thing came freshly off the stove right now. So it is just ready to be chowed on. We're also gonna need to try out making a little uh, something something. We'll go here, we'll toss this. Oh, like this, roll it up and we'll dip it right there in the mint sauce and we'll see what we've got going on. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you guys, those three flavors morph together. I could take all of those pieces off the bone and just roll them up in a couple of these and eat those like they're burritos. And let me tell you that, that is how we have a delicious, delicious dinner. I'm understanding why now this is their number one recommended item for people who are looking for a non-veg meal. Like, oh, just look at that, guys. It just breaks apart there. You toss that right on. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's hot, a little hot there. And let's roll it up a bit more. Take a little piece off there, guys. And break it off. Dip it here one more time for another big bite. To properly analyze those flavors. Mm, mm, mm. Very delicious, guys. Big cheers to 
our guy over at the hotel, our receptionist, who recommended this place, just a 10 minute walk, and we are in food heaven. G double O D. G double O D. Good, guys. You can try the uh, Rumali roti also. It's a unique one. Like this one, the thin one, yeah. Yeah, thin one. Ah, the thin one's what we saw cooking on the the round oven looking. Yes, thing. yes, yes. Let's grab this. Oh, we've got a piece of our napkin on my finger. All right. So first, we're gonna try it just to separate the flavors. Mm -hmm. Very thin. So the nice part is it adds a light taste of you know your your bread that you mix in with the meat there but it's not as strong as you know let's say one of these thick ones with butter those have a pretty strong taste on their own so you go over here dip it right in that mint sauce mm. fantastic also guys i will say because i'm a sucker for things that are slightly more unhealthy that butter is what i prefer because it's got that chew to it but i like both of them and i would give them both a very very high rating I'm content and I'm gonna chow down on the rest of this. All right guys, so we've got Raul. He just loaded up his plate with his delicious meal right here and it's called? Uh, it's paneer. Paneer, there paneer. we go. It's paneer, vegetarian option. Yeah, uh, yeah. Most of the time I order paneer. Yeah, it's, it's usually your go-to, right? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So how we eat, like I grab this, like this, yeah. and we eat. And oh. With the onion. Onion. Ah, so you take a basically you take a bite once and then you take another bite. Yeah. Ah, okay. Very nice. So you don't eat the onion whole in one bite. <laughs> Must have just been a unique Mac thing then. Yeah, yeah. And so would you consider the paneer your favorite food? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mostly I order paneer. Yeah, this is the second meal I've had with Raul and he ordered the exact same thing. Yeah. That's how you know he because loves I'm, it. I'm a vegetarian and uh, it's very good for health. And Oh, very good for health. Yeah, that's great. And it was tasty. I had one, if you guys saw the last restaurant video, I had it and it was very, very delicious. And it's G triple O D. Oh, that's here. Good. Uh, uh. Good. Yeah. No, no. G triple O D. Good. 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 <laughs> there it is. You guys heard it live from Raul. As you can see, I've done some damage here. Almost finished the entire plate already. The lamb was so, so delicious. So guys, we just finished up a delicious meal. Like I said, only $11 per person. For me to have a beer, Raul to have a delicious juice, and then our entrees. And so I'm feeling great, but I was just told that this right here is called fennel. Yeah. What fennel is, is basically- In Hindi, it's called somf. Somf, yeah? Yeah. And so what we have there, you're seeing, I thought those were salt crystals, but it's actually sugar crystals. Yeah, yeah. And so, is this like a full spoon I'm supposed to do? Yeah. So like it's a mix of, what's the, the grain? Sugar and somf, it's called somf. Oh, that, that is the somf part, and then we have sugar. Yeah. And then do I chew it or swallow it? Yeah, first you chew it and you can. Yes. Yeah, After that, uh, you can swallow it. And is this common just in Rajasthan or all over India? All over India. It's interesting guys, because I don't remember having this when I was here in 2014, and I haven't had it the last two weeks that I've been in India. But if it's gonna help with the digestive system with how much I've eaten today, it's worth it. Let's try it out. Wow, it tastes just like black licorice. It's a very interesting, like the texture feels like I'm chewing on sugar blocks along with grain, but the actual taste itself is more like a mixture of like a more of a sugary black licorice. There's a lot to chew though, to really grind it all down. Oh, guys, that was a mouthful. I'm gonna need some water after that. <laughs> You're Very, for the first time. That was interesting. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty interesting. The taste was weird, but if it helps with the digestive system, I'm content. So guys, thank you very much to the Handi squad here or the Handi staff. They have given us such an awesome experience. Really enjoyed it here from both watching them make the breads on the oven down there to serving us over here, some delicious recommendations. I'm very content. Let's shalom. Kana bota svad bai sap. Daniyavad bai. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Goodbye, my friends. All right, guys, we're going to uh, chalo out of here. As you can tell, I've learned a little bit more Hindi, so it's getting better. I was trying to say the food is delicious, brother. So, yeah, we're heading down now. Kanabota Spad Baisap. Daniel Bad. Kanabota Spad Baisap. Daniel Bad. See you.
What do you think, Raul? Pretty good for me saying it's good food? Yes, yes, yes. You're learning Hindi. Yeah, slowly but surely, guys. Yes. The thing is, for me, if you guys have been following me for a couple countries, I can usually get to a very basic, I don't want to say conversational, because that sounds fluent, like a very basic communication level, but I can never get past that. I think it has to do with, because I don't stay in places long enough. That's probably, that's got to be it. But like, it's fun for sure. Like one of my favorite things when going to countries is learning at least a little bit because like a little bit of the local language. Because when you learn a little bit, like you can connect with people that much more, get them to laugh, get them to smile, because then they hear like my horrible accent, horrible pronunciation. But it, you know, they do appreciate that I try and at least learn some of the words. So I love it, they love it. It's a good reason. So I really hope you guys at least try and learn a couple words whenever you're traveling to new countries because you'll be happy you did. I promise you that and drop a comment below if you disagree. Chalo. All right guys, that was an incredible first night here in Jaipur. I must say I'm very happy with the recommendation we got. I've already said like three times in the video, but that's how you know I am happy with it. So now we're arriving back to Hotel Aria Niwas right there as you can see. And so, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Come with us to try our first local Raj Rajasthani meal. I'm content, hope you guys are. It wasn't too spicy, so the hot fiery thing might be a little bit of uh, an exaggeration because it was not that spicy. But maybe some foreigners might think that. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more videos both here in India as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.